Chess friends, welcome to Fidey World Cup tiebreak 2023, a chess showdown featuring reigning champion Magnus Carlsen and young prodigy Pragnin Andhar. I will show you the first rapid game between them where Magnus wins over Prague. The next game was a draw, so let's go into our exciting game. Prague started the game with e4, we have e5 knight to f3 knight c6 and Prague decided to play Italian game. This is the overall approach that most Indians prefer to play, because the bishop gets active on there. Dark square bishop will get e3 and g5 post to play if needed, we have knight f6 and people love to play knight g5 to target the pawn therefore we will play d5, in higher level level chess this isn't the correct choice to play, so we have d3 bishop c5, Prague advanced his rook pawn, this is the 25 minutes of rapid game, so both players have enough time to calculate and analyze every moves. Here Magnus decided to capture the bishop, and make the three pawns in the center. In white's perspective d5 can be possible in future, rook have an open file, h3 knight d2 are the future moves to consider, so after castle knight d2 we have knight e7, Magnus Carlsen's strategy is to play c6 queen b6 to pressure on this b pawn, and the center e3 pawn. So we have knight h4 followed by c6, this move control over the d5 square and queen b6 can be played until, black plays queen e1, that's what happened in the game. Prague wants to play queen g3 to create problems on g file so queen b6 move is useless now, for that reason Magnus played d5, if you wish to capture the pawn then after takes, bishop have to run queen b6 will come to target it, you may play rook b1 then knight g4 will bring thunderstorm to the e pawn is there any way to resist the problem? No, so back to the position, Prague move back the bishop, queen d6 with the idea of playing h6 or knight g6, we have queen g3 and for that move, Magnus get an extra move for the knight with a target, queen g5 by white to target the knight, Magnus played g6 but the best move was to play knight f6, I am showing you the variation, rook e1 then we will play knight g4, trapping the queen and seizing many important squares of white at the same time, you may resist with h3 then we will play f6. The queen will be trapped, count your last days, g6 and the queen will be trapped in his own sentimental area, white has to sacrifice the knight, to escape the queen, we will take the queen out of our house and black will be happy by getting a material, this f6 pawn can be a problem for you in future but you have a nice queen position, well placed knights, all you have to do is protect your kingside and exchange all the pieces, but in our actual game, Magnus didn't get the best move, instead he played g6. He want to keep his knight on there to control left side of the board, so Prague played knight f6, which is a wrong move, best was to play simple knight f3 move, to prepare for the queen to retreat, but Prague wants to attack black position now which is why Magnus responded with bishop takes f5, e takes f5 and you shouldn't capture back the pawn because of rook takes f5 and your pawn can't do anything because he is the servant of the king, so Magnus moved up his king, that's an amazing move to see from Carlsen, he is trying to protect the f6 square with all his army, therefore white can play rook f3 to double up the rooks which is my suggestion because I am stockfish, nobody can challenge my suggestion. The main problem of white is that he can't able to use the light square bishop in this diagonal, Magnus built his pawn chain in queenside perfectly, now the bishop is inactive now, we have king h1 queen f6, if you try to protect the queen, let me show you the variation, then we will capture the f pawn for free, e4 knight e3, forking the pieces so you has to take the queen, knight takes queen rook f1, we will play f5 to play aggressively, because we have most of the pieces in kingside to create problems. Takes takes, you may go for the pawn, then knight d3 will fork up your pieces, takes rook b8 bishop backs, knight takes rook rook takes knight, we will capture pawn and the position will be in my hand, for that reason, Prague decided to capture the queen, knight takes f6 and this is coming, so we have pawn exchanges, Magnus have a well protected structure and very good pieces activity, play e5 to extend the chain, if d4 happen then involve the knights to target to the e3 pawn. For that reason Prague played e4 himself, we have center exchanges rook d8 to get the file, rook here rook d4 to target this pawn, we have rook f1 knight g8, c3 rook d7 rook e2, we have some standard moves, knight c4 to target the pawn so rook a8, g4 f6 rook to g2, 
Knight h6 g5, pawn exchanges and Magnus targets to the rook with knight, rook escapes rook e6 rook here and Magnus offer Prague to do rook exchanges. The knight can't be taken because of this so we have rook takes f6 knight takes rook to pressure to the pawn, knight g5 will come which may cause serious problems for the king because he have only one bodyguard on h2, Prague tries to do some gameplay in queenside, so after some moves later, we have rook to h8, getting the file and rook h4 is coming, here Prague played inaccuracy move rook e2, best was to move up the bishop, because this rook move gives black an extra move for the knight involvement, king h1. Another inaccuracy move, best was to slide the rook because after knight f4, the position is getting in black's control move by move, Prague have only 19 seconds time in his clock and he blundered his pawn on a6, best was to play rook d1, so after takes we have another mistake move bishop a4, best was to play bishop d1 to protect the rank, so after rook c3, Magnus is targeting to the knight and the c1 check, knight a5 knight g5, this is coming, rook c2 knight h3 check, look at the well placed knights. They are creating much problems for Prague, he have only 15 seconds of time and what should Prague play now. Checkmate is coming so Prague played knight takes pawn check, king f6 and here, he can't defend his position at all, so he decided to resign the game. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.